sometimes you don't find the model of the component you want to use and in that case you have to create your own and I will now show you how to create a symbol for a new component so uh, let me show it here here I opened the data sheet of a component I would like to make and I would like to make the FTDI FT231X it's an USB to RS232 converter and uh, this converter has different symbols and uh, one is here it is for QFN package and the other symbol is for SSOP package and I would like to use that one and as you see here the pins are not arranged according to their numbers or their arrangement in the pattern but they are rather arranged according to their functions and this is the way how to make a symbol you have to check out also the recommended schematics maybe and in these schematics you will quickly see how the uh, integrated circuit is connected to the components and from that on you will be able to arrange the pins optimally so that schematics are easily be easily easily readable and uh, that they do not become very very clumsy or crowded so yeah following these rules is quite important that you make a good schematic a good symbol of the chip uh, that it, it can be usable usable uh, very easily all right so how can i now start well first of all i can make a new library if i want so i can go to the file new library and i choose new integrated library and in that library i can add schematics and pcb library to in order to make the schematics and the pattern of the integrated circuit but i will rather use the existing library because that uh, i can actually um, reuse the libraries i already have and just add new components in them like ic general would be useful because it contains integrated circuits so when i drag and drop it into the uh, panel here i have to choose extract sources so that um, the library <coughs> will be extracted and i can edit the con content clicking here add a new library package ic general library package and this library package i can open the schematics ic general library okay and here i can see all the components that are in there and now i will add a new one i will click add and i will select a new component let's name it ft231x so this is an ft231x it's an empty library empty component and i will make a little bit of space like that so here i can draw a new symbol uh, this cross here is a, a reference point and this point is the point at which the mouse will be attached when you pick and place this uh, symbol so it's quite an important point and in this panel i will now place corresponding pins of the mic of this uh, integrated circuit so i can go place pin or as you see pp would be the shortcut or i can just click here so now this is a pin and by clicking tab i can go into the properties and i can select i will start with the number one and from the data sheet i see that number one is named um dtr hash tag okay i can now rotate it if i want with space or shift space or x and y would be the mirroring and please note that the cross at which the mouse is currently attached is the point of the pin where the line where the wire is connected and uh, therefore it should be pointing outside the, the the case the symbol of the chip so i will now start placing and you see immediately that the number is increased and the name should be changed the number two pin has name rts hashtag and should be placed here now i will now try to arrange the rest of the pins i have now placed all the pins and arranged them according to the symbol in the data sheet and um, here i used 
two grid uh, distance between the pins and if I move the pin you will see that it jumps from one grid to another and by clicking letter G I can decrease the grid see now it's full grid now it's one tenth now it's one half okay full grid is just fine use grid wisely okay what sh should I do now when I arranged all the pins and uh, uh, oriented them accordingly I have to draw a square I can find square here place rectangle and now you see the rectangle is shown I can click here and now I can select the other end, the under corner, click again, another rectangle is drawn, but it's over the pin, so I have to put it to the back. So I will go to move, and I will move it to back. When I select the action, I have to click on the part which I want to move back. I will click here. I could also move back something else, as you see, moving back the rectangle. And when I'm finished, I click the right hand button. And now this chip is almost finished. Well, it looks nice. It has all the pins defined, but you, I have to check the rest of it. Design item ID, it's the unique ID of that component. That's all right. The signator is U. You have to type U. And then U is usually used for uh, integrated circuit. You could also use IC. And then you add the question mark. A question mark would be then replaced with the number uh, at the annotation phase. In the comment, you do just write FT231X or similar or anything you want. It's, you can add USB to uh, UART converter or maybe interface. You can write anything. And this is then seen. It's visible. So don't write too much. Maybe FT231X is just sufficient. And then you have you can add, and that's quite advisable, you can add supplier link. And the supplier links, you actually search the suppliers on the internet uh, for that chip, and uh, you will see that several suppliers are found. And some of the suppliers also supply the Altium um, Altium um, models for it, which is well a little bit disappointing now we, since we already drawn the schematics, so we should maybe just use that one. But nevertheless, we have learned how to do it. Let's say that this supplier link is good. Okay. Okay. What you will see now, you get a supplier code, which is here. And here you can open the data sheet. You can open, you can see the um, price, the quantity, availability, and so on. So it's always nice to do that, so that you can access this information anytime you want later on. And that's all regarding the schematics.